just coming up here you can see a one of those speed cameras or speed radar things it's never caught me on a bike before it was kind of cool i had never encountered that before wasn't doing any huge amount of speed but 25 kilometers an hour coming up here i went for a ride today to uh, glen arbor golf course at uh or that was my plan. It took a while to find it. I made a few wrong turns on along the way, and some of them were um, planned wrong turns. I don't know if that's the right word. But when I was mapping up my route, you see a road named Clubhouse Lane, and where do you expect it to take you? But to the clubhouse. Well, apparently that was a misguided interpretation, and this is Clubhouse Lane, and it's just some residential houses. I'm just flying back up here now, and uh, you can see me flying down around here again. Uh, I made another wrong turn on this while on the way here, but I finally did find the golf course. Uh, a bit about four kilometers further along than I had planned to take me to get there. But here we are just entering the gates. On the right you'll see some of the course. You can't really see a huge amount right, obviously, but uh, there's also like a little par three here. Executive course they call it. I think that's one of the holes right there for that. I remember playing over that water or attempting to play over water with my luck look more like the in the water but uh, we're coming down here now closer to the clubhouse and you'll see the fairways of the course proper on the right the executive course is for the most part on the left here on the other side of the parking lot i'm just going to pull up the bike here now and take a quick break and let you have a quick look at over the lake and the course it's a pretty uh, spot uh, of course most golf courses are it's part of the attraction i guess that and uh, the attraction of losing 400,000 balls in the run of a day. I uh, rode up here and I was planning on, my original plan was to ride up through here and exit the parking lot at the top. And then I couldn't remember if there was an exit to the parking lot at the top. So rather than doing that, I just made a loop around here and came back down. And you'll see that I uh, just coming back the same lane way I came in. Uh, which is probably good for you. You'll probably get a bit better view of the other angle of the course up here when we're coming around the corner here. I did have to uh, pull the bike up here and make the stop first because I thought I heard something fall in my pocket right out of my bags. I'm not sure what it was, but I got off the bike to walk back. Uh, didn't see anything, didn't find anything, and I don't appear to be missing anything, so I guess it was just hearing noises. It was a cold morning this morning. It was only 12 degrees Celsius, which is quite a drop when you consider it was 34 degrees Celsius yesterday afternoon. Um, pretty chilly. I had to put a jacket on this morning and wear some long pants, uh, which was quite a change from yesterday. It's quite windy too, as you'll see as we leave the parking lot here. You'll uh, Just up past these uh, flowers you'll see on the right here, just as you're exiting Clubhouse Lane, you'll see that there's some uh, some of the wind blowing on the trees uh, wouldn't be helpful to my game as bad as it is it'd probably help me just lose a few more balls but here you can see as you keep a look at the, the trees on the right here you can see the wind blowing through them Just getting back to the clubhouse gates again. It's a bit of a steep hill, I guess, and I'm a bit old and out of shape, and it took me a bit of struggle to get up here for some reason. I guess the wind didn't help either. I'm going to skip ahead a lot right here now because there's not a whole lot to see on the route that I took on the way back. I went up a few different side streets just to see what there might be to see, and it's just pretty much green trees, which is pretty uh, dull when you get to it. Here we're just exiting Potbock Lane and coming down uh, Hammond's Lane's Road and see on the right there was Vernon's Thunderbird Diner, which is one of the uh, 50 style diners around here. It was just wanted to point that out. Coming down here now on the right, you'll see Hatfield Farms where they have uh, sleigh rides and pig roasts and things like that, which is kind of an interesting thing to go to. Uh, just up here and a little bit on the left, you won't really get a good look at it, but there's a restaurant I like called Edible Matters. They use a lot of local products. I think this is it right here. Uh, it's kind of a good place to eat. Uh, they change the menu up sometimes, but their, uh, their sandwich is really good, and we're just going to end right here.